Hippolyta and the Curse of the Amazons. Now coming to your theater. One day, in a far off place called Themyscira, the Amazons lived there. The Queen Outrear, the Queen of Peace, has her second son. Queens are only allowed one son in this place because they believe that if they have more than one son, or any sons at all, that if they become a grown man in the Amazon's area, something very bad will happen to them and the men's will take over. So, Queen Oprah has the baby. Hippolyta is now destined to save it. Because the queen of war wants to kill it. Because that is the way it has been for a hundred years. Although Queen Oprah and Hippolyta disagree. So Hippolyta takes the baby in the basket and goes on many adventures to save him. Hippolyta has to set off for the baby's father in Troy, King Lamedon. She has to give that snobby old king and rude king, the baby, because she doesn't know where to put it. So she puts it in the king's hand. And the king sends her to the sea monster. Another adventure is when she gets chained to a post and is almost eaten by a sea monster. But then a snobby little prince, the rude king's son, saves her. Since the boy saved her, she is forced to travel with him. Which isn't that much fun, because he has such a big mouth. On her way back to Hemiskra, she is almost there. But she hears wailing and screaming, and nobody is working. They both suddenly feel scared. And will they get to the Amazon in time to save the whole town? Coming to your theater, Hippolyta. The beginning of the book was really intense, like biting your fingernails intense. So I put intense music. But then the last part is really sad, so I put sort of like a sad, low music. A connection to a book I am reading right now is called the, Max it's called the Maximum Ride series. And it's about all of these adventures and missions and people trying to save each other and help each other. And Hippolyta and the Curse of the Amazons is just like this book. The end.